Well, let's now take you to a live press conference that we are hearing from Khan Yunus. That's in the southern part of the Gaza Strip. You're listening now to representatives from the... It's an independent commission for human rights. I'll, I'll get you the name of that organization Spain, presently, but let's listen Spain, in. And to terrorize people to cause as much unfairness and torture to civilians partially or totally. This is the second item that says and explains actions that can be considered genocide. These three things mentioned in the second item is quite clear and is definitely apply it to what's going on here and what has been done by the occupation against the Palestinians in Gaza. We urge everyone to call these crimes the right names. Collective crimes. They are collective crimes. And we urge the national community to respect the, Palest the rights of the Palestinians and to uh, depend on the agreement of stopping genocide responsibilities. We say that in addition to the responsibility of the occupation forces, we see that the United States of America is to be fully responsible, not only by giving a red light to the occupation, but this direct responsibility is based on being partner in the decision maker. And we all know that the U.S. Defense Secretary and the uh, U.S. Secretary of State have played their part and their role in the Council of War meetings, and they were playing and acting and supporting actions on the ground. And we all know the centers of weapons given to Israel, and we all know the security control practice and the marine forces of the United States of America have moved to the, to the area. In addition to that, the U.S., as a U.S., has vetoed any decision against the victims of this genocide. We are directly talking to the American people, and we say clearly, we as a human right independent community, we carry the category A, and we tell you that your president and your army are taking part in these genocides in Gaza. Another important matter, which is the goals, according to what have been documented by us and our field follow-ups, we have seen that there are announced goals, but the real goal is different. We need to concentrate on these goals, first of all, the collective punishment and killing. And the big numbers, the massive numbers of martyrs and of wounded people is a clear indication. Also, the massive destruction is another clear indication. They have destroyed us. And this is another evidence to say that this is one of the main goals. Another thing we have documented, that the arrogance of the occupation, they behave in a very arrogant way against our victims. They behave in an arrogant way against our Palestinian people. They are very arrogant and they want to say that we are the able and we are the capable to do anything in Gaza. And then another goal, and I want the mass media outlet to concentrate on this. We are trying to prevent what will happen. We have seen people being forced to uh, be displaced. And if you see the bombardment of the eastern parts of Khan Yunis, Khan Yunis now is an operation area. And they have asked the people of the eastern part of Khan Yunis to move to Rafah. This is an indication that the occupation forces are trying to 
take the displacement further to be a sort of emigration towards the Rafah crossing. We are now in, in, in we are now confident that these are the goals of the Israelis. That's why we urge the national community to move quickly to stop the aggression. And we urge the Prosecutor General of the ICC to adopt certain procedures. And by the way, he is now in Ramallah. And we have told him that we will never meet him in protest of his actions since uh, the year 2021. He has been appointed as the Postal General of the ICC, and since that time he has ignored the Palestinian files. We refuse to meet him today in Ramallah in a protest and to show that we don't accept his acceptance of the Israelis' uh, dictations, and uh, we know that uh, he also said some statements that are not very vital. We have uh, refused to meet him because he did not issue Well, you've been listening there to a press conference from the Independent Commission for Human Rights. Now, that's the National Human Rights Organization for Palestine. They were just speaking there outside the NASA hospital in Khan Yunus. That's in the southern part of the Gaza Strip. They say they're appealing to the American public to stop their president from being a part of what they say is an ongoing genocide in Gaza. The commission says that they've been documenting abuses throughout this conflict and that they're asking the International Criminal Court to live up to its obligations.